Hey, hey, welcome everyone to this week's episode of the Amazon Files brought to you by Mommy Income. I am your host, Kristen Ostrander, and today I want to talk to you about understanding the Amazon customer. Now, before you just hit uh, delete and next and move on to the next podcast episode, um, because you think, oh, I know this, I've got this. I really want to dive into the Amazon customer and what that means for you as a seller, because there's so many things going around right now talking about the fact that Amazon platform is saturated or, um, you know, maybe Amazon's going to be broke up because of antitrust laws and blah, blah, blah. I just kind of want to clear the air about it and tell you why and paint the picture for you based on on facts and statistics um, and surveys done with Amazon customers of why they're not going anywhere anytime soon and why both you and I and the majority of um, our US friends and friends abroad um, shop on Amazon. There is a fundamental reason, actually of statistics, and we'll talk about that in just a moment, about understanding your Amazon customer, why they do what they do, what they're doing, why they're doing it, and how you can benefit and profit from that. So are we ready to profit from that? Because that's why we're selling on Amazon. We want to make sure that we are understanding our customer because when you understand your customer, you can sell better products, more products, and you can meet their needs faster and easier when you understand what they are. Now, some of you guys are like, well, we don't have customer data, right? We don't get to know who's buying from us. The great news is you don't need to know the individual. What you need to know are the basics about why people buy and shop on Amazon. It makes it so much easier to choose products that they want and sell uh, to sell to them when you understand uh, their mindset or the reasons why. So if you think about it for a second, we are Amazon customers. We're our own customers, are we not? I mean, how many of you right now have purchased something on Amazon in the past seven days? How about in the past hour? <laughs> so we are Amazon customers. And if you just ask yourself the question, the number one question, why do you shop on Amazon? The it's the same across the board. So I've been digging into some research and data because I'm kind of a data nerd. I love research. I like facts. I like numbers because they don't lie. Numbers don't lie. Things like this, when people are taking surveys, numbers don't lie. And if we think about it, why do people use Amazon? Why do you use Amazon? Why do I use Amazon? Well, my answer has always been speed, variety, and convenience. That's always been my answer of like, people ask me, why do you sell? Why do you buy on Amazon? Why do you sell on Amazon? Well, we'll get to the selling part in a minute. But as a buyer on Amazon, I buy on Amazon for many reasons, but mostly it's the speed and the variety and the convenience of all of it. And I thought, am I alone in this? Or do people really just do it for the free shipping and things like that? Because, you know, free shipping can be an illusion, right? If something is 10% more on Amazon, but then it has free shipping, are you really saving? Do people want to do the math? Do they even care? So I dug into some statistics and I've got three different articles and three different websites that I will be referencing and quoting. And of course, we can put all of that in the show notes for you so that you can reference these items yourself. Um, but and according to a recent survey in 20. 2021 um, by Ed Lucent, they did some why customers pick Amazon and what you can do about it. So that was their article. And they said the number one reason people shop on Amazon is product selection, period. Product selection, number one reason. Most people would think it was free shipping or maybe even speed, but that actually comes second. So first and best reason why people shop on Amazon is product selection. Now, that's one of the reasons I shop on Amazon specifically, because I know that I'm probably going to find what I'm looking for on Amazon. But you're not guaranteed to find what you're looking for when you go into Target, because they only have so much space. But because it's an online retailer, people go to Amazon because they know that nine out of 10 times, Amazon is going to have the exact product that they're looking for. And what does that mean for them? What does that mean for me? 
time. It saves me time. I don't have to go poking around a store looking for something, hoping they have the right kind or the right version that I need. And so with Amazon, we can just scroll through pages and pages of items and then pick the one that best, fit, best fits our need. Product selection is the number one reason people shop on Amazon. And this is great news for sellers, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Number two reason why people, and this is according to, again, this Ed Lucent ad, um, that, that it's Ed Lucent survey, excuse me, that they took this year um, asking these Amazon sellers. Another, the number two reason is fast and free shipping. So people like the fast and free shipping. They like the fact that there's even some same day, next day, and of course the two day shipping. Now Amazon's been messing around with this for a couple of um, probably the past year or so where they're not really delivering things on time, but customers aren't as upset about that as m some may think. Yes, we've all had to make some adjustments because Amazon is not necessarily me meeting their two day um, prime shipment deadlines lately. And of course that's due to worker shortage and uh, a couple other logistic things. But in reality, I'm not that mad. And according to the recent surveys, the regular Amazon customers aren't that mad about getting things a couple of days later than normal, simply for the fact that they don't have to go out searching for the products they wanted. They would rather have it conveniently dropped off at their front door, even if it's a couple of days later than they, than going to a store and trying to hunt down the products and the things that they need. So number one reason, product selection, uh, AKA variety. Um, and number two is fast and free shipping, speed. Hello, speed, yes. Um, and the number three reason, the third reason why people use, these are the top three reasons people use Amazon is trust and or product reviews, which kind of come in hand with trust. So product reviews, a lot of people want to read product reviews before they buy something, especially something that's expensive. So they want to read, what do other people think about this? Do they like the product or, you know, there's now pictures and videos along with reviews. How many of you guys have actually spent um, more than an hour reading reviews on a specific product, even a product that was pretty cheap? I have, I read a lot. I like to read reviews. I actually find them entertaining sometimes because people are super opinionated and they always have something to say. And a lot of times, you know, you read the negative ones and you're like, oh, I'm not sure I want to buy that. But um, the idea there is we want to know that we're buying something that's good quality. But the good news about product reviews on Amazon, but is also there, it's not just the trust for product reviews. It's trust because the ironclad return policy that they seem to have. Now, some things are not returnable after a certain number of days and whatever else, and that's normal for any you know, brick and mortar, let alone retail, but the speed and convenience and ease that it is to make a return if you end up with a product that you don't want or need, that's the number three reason, reviews and trust, the fact that you can do easy, fast returns. I mean, I don't know about you, but I want to do business with a company that I can trust, that is fast and easy to work with and has the products that I'm looking for. Amazon meets all these. Did you guys know that recently as of August 17th, I think this article says, this is the New York Times article um, on August the 17th of 2021, Amazon has surpassed Walmart as the number one a retailer outside of China in the universe. So it says that they're the largest, they're the largest retailer outside of Am Amazon has made over 610. I can't even say this number out loud without like breathing in first. Like who knows how many dollars this actually is. Like I would love to see like a, a warehouse or a room full with uh, full of these many, many dollars. I mean, is this even a thing? 610 billion dollars spent in the last 12 months on Amazon. This is according to August 17th, 2021, when this article was written. These are all of the re most recent 12 month numbers, $610 billion spent on Amazon. That is, according to all these statistics, Amazon captures 41 cents of every dollar spent online in the United States and just as a fun comparison, Walmart only gets seven cents a dollar, according to eMarketer. These are, this is in a New York Times article about Amazon in 2021. You guys, 41 cents of every dollar spent online goes to Amazon. 
that's crazy and crazy awesome if you're selling there, right? So this are, these are just some of the statistics to think about. Walmart just took over. And what is the reason Walmart took over? Well, it's funny, you or, or Amazon took over Walmart. Well, it's funny you should ask because almost 2 million people like you and me account for Amazon sales. This is third party selling. This is why Amazon has ascended to the top so quickly because it opens the website for people like you and me, third party sellers to list products alongside Amazon. This greatly affects Amazon's assortment and availability of products. Hello, product selection, the number one reason people shop on Amazon. It's for the selection of products because where else can you really, except for, I guess, Walmart, add like, um, auto parts to your cart and also baby diapers and oh, go pick up some grocery items, like hardly anywhere. Yeah, Walmart, you could probably do that. A little bit of Target here and there, but selection. Not only can you get baby diapers, you can get any brand from any company across the globe at Amazon, at, at, at your fingertips. You are not limited to the selection of what's actually on the shelf. I mean, how many times have we gone to stores looking for something specific, a specific size, color, shapes, whatever it is, flavor even, and they don't have it. But this store doesn't have it. And this store doesn't have it. Well, because actual brick and mortar stores cannot carry everything. They have a limited number of retail shelves available. Amazon does not. That's the beauty of it. And this is the reason people come back over and over and over using Amazon all the time. And third party sellers like you and me account for 56% of items sold on Amazon. That's over half. So when, when it comes to understanding the Amazon customer and what they want, it's not very difficult to start putting products together and start selling products that your customers want. You understand them already. What do they want? Speed, convenience, and variety. Product selection, shipping, free shipping, fast shipping, and they trust the product reviews, the, the variety of products available. And that's the convenience, right? I mean, when you buy on Amazon, all you have to do is add to cart and swipe to the right or left or, or press the buy now button. And you don't even have to enter anything. You feel like your items are secure. They're safe. You're not whipping out a credit card. You're not having to deal with Apple Pay or, or Google Pay or any of that kind of stuff. It's just built in. People love the convenience of Amazon. So what? right? You're like, okay, yeah, we already know we all love Amazon. But what does that mean for you as a seller? It means a lot. It means that you're dealing with customers who like speed, variety, and confidence and convenience. They have confidence because of reviews and return policies. So they're not scared to buy from you as opposed to maybe a Shopify store where you might offer the same exact products on a Shopify store that you would on Amazon, but people are more apt to buy on Amazon because they know, like, and trust Amazon. They know that if they don't like it, they can call for a return. If they don't, uh, if something breaks, they have this, this easy return policy. They don't have to worry about their credit cards and whether or not their credit card is safe or secure on some other site. Maybe they're ordering while they're driving down the road and they are not driving, hopefully not driving, <laughs> um, riding down the road as a passenger and they don't have to whip out a credit card. They don't have to think about that. They don't even have to look at mobile storage of such a credit card. You know, knowing that gives people confidence to continue buying from them. So that's something as a seller to really understand because when you understand how your customer buys, why they buy, where they buy, and even what product categories they buy most often online, then that's where you can start really making a profit from them. See, what, why, and here's another thing too. This is another thing you need to understand about the Amazon customer because pricing is not in the top 10, right? It's not something that out of the top three reasons people shop on Amazon, notice that they never said price. And according to this survey, people are like, oh, well, they have the best prices. Well, let's be real. Sometimes they do, but sometimes they don't. Most of the time, I think that Amazon does not have the best price on something. 
because of their infrastructure and how many sellers they support and also all their different uh, delivery and all this stuff, they don't always have the best price. But this is the proof that you don't have to have the best price in order to have 56% of the sales happening online be in your pocket. It's not about price, friends. It's more about the variety, the product selection, and the convenience of it all. It has zero to do, okay, maybe not zero, but the lowest percentage to do with pricing. Because yeah, we all want a good value, but we also realize that time is money and we're willing to pay a little extra for something on Amazon because of the speed and convenience and variety. Why I go to Amazon? Because I already know that they have what I want that they have what I'm looking for, or even if I'm looking for something specific or something I haven't purchased before, Amazon's the first place I go to because I don't wanna waste a bunch of time getting in my car, driving to a bunch of different stores, hoping that they have the one or two products that I'm looking for. Maybe it's a specialty item, maybe it's something of a specific size. Um, I already know that Amazon most likely has it, and it's going to be pretty easy to find with some, some specific searches. It's fast, it's easy. Like I can shop for furniture on Amazon sitting on my couch. I mean, why go to a furniture store and poke around and look? I mean, yeah, sometimes, but for the most part, like you can literally get everything that you want on Amazon. This is the reason your customers will pay more for something on Amazon. Every time I've asked this question in a crowd, I always get the same answer and I'm one of them. Have you ever overpaid for something on Amazon? simply because it was either going to be delivered or it was just fast or more convenient. I mean, there's a Walgreens less than one mile from my house, a drugstore that pretty much, you know, I can get by getting anything from there. And I could go down to, to Walgreens and buy my, you know, contact solution, or I could just hit subscribe and save on Amazon knowing I have to buy it once a month and they're going to deliver it right to my door. And that would be way more convenient than having to go to the store and buying it when I run out at a most inconvenient time speed, convenience, variety. This is why people are shopping there. So now that we know what these customers want on Amazon, how can we best serve them with products? Well, I'm so glad you asked. That's part of the, the process here is that, okay, now that we understand our Amazon customer, what they want, what they need, how can we get them the products they want and need so we can profit from that? I mean, that's why we're in business, right? Um, first of all, oh, I forgot to tell you guys, um, Facebook group, in case you want to connect with other people, make sure that you join our Facebook group mommyincome.com slash join us with the code word ideas. Of course, here's your code word, hashtag ideas. I want you guys to be able to join me in the Facebook group. Ask your questions, come in there, talk to other sellers, about, uh, both beginners and advanced sellers all in uh, the Facebook group. And they're there to support you. This community is um, growing stronger because we wanna be able to support our fellow sellers. Get answers that you need so that you can profit faster. Um, instead of hunting for all kinds of stuff, there's all kinds of answers there. Um, Mommy income.com slash join us code word is ideas so make sure you join the facebook group there and so okay now that we understand who our buyers are who is buying from amazon across the board we need to figure out what they want right what products do they want um the short answer is absolutely everything Abs absolutely everything whether it's available on Amazon or not, you know, that's the question. They have millions and millions of products available. Um, but what is it that consumers are looking for the most? Well, the top revenue categories on Amazon are home and kitchen, electronics, and get this, automotive has, has grown like 112%, I think they said, over the past couple of years. Why? Because think about it. Not every auto store can carry every single part out there for every single car ever made. So many cars are up and coming and uh, even specific auto parts, they're not interchangeable um, as much as people want them to be. There's certain makes, models, everything else grown tremendously. Why? It's mostly because of that trust factor and the speed. People can literally get their products delivered their products delivered within a couple of days, sometimes even a couple of hours. So this is another reason why these categories are tremendously growing on Amazon. Apparel and accessories is almost the top category at this point. It's growing, 
growing, growing. Why? Because people love, I mean, this goes back to like mail order, like 70s, 80s catalogs, stuff like that. Like tons and tons of people have been ordering like that for many, many years uh, on catalog, uh, through catalogs online, well, they say online, <laughs> offline, but through catalogs. I mean, anybody grow up with like the big, huge Sears catalog, even yourself or your grandparents or something like that had the big fat Sears catalog and you could just look through pages and pages. I remember when I was a kid, uh, my grandma always got the big, huge like Sears or JC Penny catalogs, things like that. And I would sit there for hours and look through these catalogs. Yes, I was dorky like that. I loved magazines. I loved things like that. And I never really saw that kind of stuff before. Um, you know, when I was younger, we'd have to go to stores, shop around, look for things like that. There wasn't the internet browsing, right? So um, catalogs were like fun for me to be able to look through and they had kids sections and adult and I'm like oh I would love to have this and, and love to have that it was like my little wish book and so ordering things uh, off catalogs or things like that is not um you know, that sort of thing is a little bit more lost on us than it is now because we all have online, right? We have websites, we have internet, we have Amazon. So who needs the Sears catalog? But um, clothing, shoes, accessories, this is a really big growing category, friends. And we want to be paying attention to that sports and outdoors. Now, this these are the top revenue categories, according to Statista. Uh, I love Statista for these like numbers and things like that. You can pretty much ask them any statistic and they kind of have it. I mean, eventually you have to like subscribe. But um, if you want to look a couple of things up for free. It's a Statista is a great way to look up different data and stats and things like that. So these top revenue categories, what do our Amazon customers want? Well, they want speed and convenience and variety of product, product selection. And the categories in which they love are home and kitchen, electronics, automotive, apparel and accessories, sports and outdoors. Those are the top. Of course, there's plenty, there's 27 different categories, I think, on Amazon to sell. So how do we capitalize? I hear you like, okay, thanks for the data. Thanks for the research. This is so awesome. But so what? How do we make money off of this? How do we profit from this? Bottom line is this. Amazon provides the speed and they provide the convenience of purchase and the convenient and the trust of of returns and reviews and things like that. So what can you do? You bring the variety. You bring new products to the table, specifically bundles to Amazon. Now, briefly, I'm going to explain a bundle in case you guys haven't heard any other of the 200 plus episodes I've been doing for many years. A bundle is simply a combination of products that customers tend to buy together already, conveniently packed in the same bundle kit or set. So think about the shampoo and conditioner. You know, we tend to buy the same brands of that. Putting a shampoo and conditioner together would be a bundle or um, putting together like an accessory kit for say an iPhone or an iPad. Maybe there's a case and a charger and a stand and um, headphones or screen protectors, things like that. Things that go together that people might buy separately, but are much more conveniently to buy together or say a gift set or a gift kit or um, you know, things like that, or you're buying even uh, grocery items, a variety pack of granola bars. That's one of my first bundles I ever created. So a bundle brings um, speed and convenience to the customer by by basically prepackaging things they already buy together, things that they buy together to make it uh, easy and convenient one click purchase. So instead of having your customer shop around for these different items, you're doing the research and the shopping for them up front, putting together product bundles that make it convenient and easy for them to buy in one click. So that already meets the standard. You're bringing the, conven the, the variety, the product selection to Amazon. Remember, that's the number one reason people shop on Amazon for variety. So when you look on Amazon and you're looking for something and you say, okay, well, I'm looking for, you know, a, a black nightstand of some sort. And you might look through four or five pages to find something that might, number one, be the right size, but might be the right convenience. But if you went to like a furniture store or even like a home goods or someplace like that, and you were looking specifically for that, you are subject to whatever's in the store, whatever's available. Maybe there's 10 or 15 different ones, or maybe there's even five different ones that are going to be this, the color you want. But then let's talk about size and style. The great thing about Amazon is that you can look at pretty much whatever is available out there and choose your size and style um, at the 
click of a button rather than going from different store to store hoping they have what you want. So this is why bundles work so well because we understand our customer. Um, we're bringing a combination of products, new variety to the table for your customers. Because yes, some people might want to buy a single item. Maybe they want to buy one rug, but maybe your customer wants to buy a three pack of rugs or a variety of that because they have more ground to cover, <laughs> pun intended, of course. Um, but this is why bundles work so well on Amazon. The speed, convenience, variety. People want all of those things. The speed you bring with bundle is that they only have to click one time to buy something. It comes in one package, it comes to their front door, and the product selection is, is what you're bringing. You're bringing this variety. The most important thing to remember about bundles is solving a problem or meeting a need. Now, when you say solving a problem, people don't buy products, they buy solutions. They buy solutions to problems. And when we say problems, okay, it could be a need, um, but most of the time it is a problem. Hey, I bought a new iPhone. The problem is I wanna protect this thousand dollar, you know, computer that I walk around in my pocket with. I don't want it to just be, you know, fall out of my pocket and crack and break and everything else. So the problem you solve with an iPhone case is the the protection of said device so you're thinking oh that doesn't really solve a problem sure it does any all products solve a problem or meet a need and the thing is is that the iphone case that i might want might not to appeal to you so the great thing about that is there's a variety if you walk into a store you're limited to whatever they have if you're looking at amazon you get probably hundreds of pages of different iphones that you can choose from and that is the beauty of it. So meeting a need or solving a problem with your bundle. But you know, your bundle already solves a problem of convenience and speed for your customer. So that's the beauty about it. Also, you want to remember with product bundles of the who, what, when, where, why, and how of your bundle. So this is different than just selling, you know, just this is part of where understanding your customer really comes in. Who's going to use this bundle? Who's going to use these products? Where are they going to use it? How are they going to use it? What are they going to do with it? All the who, what, when, where, why, and how of your bundle will help you pick better products to sell no matter what category that you're using. And so when you're thinking about your customer, this is why it's so super important to think about your customer, especially, you know, the people have come to me and asked me different things of like, well, what happens if you don't find your product on Amazon or don't find a product on Amazon that you're looking for? That's my favorite kind of product to bring to the marketplace because if you can't find it on Amazon or you've searched for it and realized there's really nothing like it on Amazon, that should be a huge light bulb moment for you. You're the one that should add that to the Amazon catalog and sell that product because you're not the only one looking for that. So those are opportunities specifically if you can't find a specific style or variety on Amazon, it's time for you to bring that to the table because someone else hasn't already. And I promise you that someone else out there is looking for it. You are not the only one looking to solve that problem or meet that need, um, even down to small, tiny niches that you wouldn't even think of. Like, um, you know, people have really strange pets. Like, you know, you think dog, cat, you know, stuff like that, but gerbils and ferrets and birds and reptiles and snakes and spiders. Like y'all, I have no idea why people have snakes and spiders and these types of things crawling around in their house. I'm like, I look to get rid of these things from my house. I don't want any sort of rodent or bug or whatever, but there are those who love these exotic type pets. And guess what? You can't just run down to the, the nearest pet supply place or pet Co or wherever and find certain specialty items. They just don't have everything. But guess who does? <laughs> Your friends at Amazon. So this is the type of stuff I mean. Meet a need or solve a problem. Look for those absolute specialty items that you can't really get in, in hardly any stores whatsoever. I mean, if they don't sell it at Petco, if they sell it on Amazon, if they don't sell it on Amazon, you need to bring it to the table. So when you're thinking about your Amazon customer, constantly be thinking about product selection and variety because that's exactly what they want and need. And honestly, friends, start by looking at your own Amazon purchases. I tell these people over and over again, look at your own purchases, look at things that you maybe haven't been able to find online and wondering where these products are. And if you can't find it, make it, 
or find it somewhere that somebody who sells it and bring it to Amazon because other people are looking for that as well. So then people think, okay, great bundles. Those are a great idea. Number one, it keeps the, the, the competition away from your listings because you're bringing something new to the table. And if you do it correctly, AKA using the wholesale bundle system to create your bundles, you will have no competition on your bundles and you'll be able to own the buy box 100% of the time and get all of those sales. Um, but some people really lack ideas. Well, you know, if you want to bring speed, variety and convenience to your Amazon customers and pad your bottom line a little bit more, you need to be selling bundles, you need to be adding bundles to your Amazon business model. And in order to do that, you need bundle ideas, because a lot of people are like, Oh, bundle ideas. Well, I think this bundle concept is a great idea. And it helps, um, you know, I can order stuff from home and these wholesale bundles this is great. But I don't even know where to start. I don't even know ideas. I've got your back. See, because I have so many bundle ideas that I don't know what to do with. I share all these bundle ideas with you guys. Why? Because I can't possibly buy and create all of the bundles out there. And I have a gazillion ideas a day for different bundles. As a matter of fact, yesterday I was at Hobby Lobby um, buying something for myself and I literally walked down two aisles and probably had 75 different bundle ideas. No joke. I was like, oh, look at that. And what about that? And that goes with this and this goes with this. And all of a sudden I was like, oh my gosh, I'm overwhelmed with all these different ideas. But I have created four different mini courses on bundle ideas. And I want you guys to get these bundle ideas. I don't want the ideas to stop you from profiting from bundles simply because you're like, I'm not sure exactly what to bundle or where to get started with bundling. I'm not creative. I don't have ideas. Guess what? You don't need to be you can actually start creating bundles right now. And I have four different mini courses for you all together in one bundle. Who knew, right? So evergreen bundles, that means year round bundle ideas, not seasonal, doesn't come and go year round evergreen bundles. Um, holiday bundles, holiday meaning Q4 holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Halloween, that's coming up. You want to make sure that you're looking um, at your Q4 holiday bundles. Of course, spring and summer bundle ideas are included with this package and the crafter's dream bundles. Now, what does this mean? Crafter's dream. Lots and lots of people in um, the world make and sell crafts of their own. But these friends also have to buy the supplies in order to make said crafts. And that's becoming even harder to do as certain stores like Joann's and Michael's are paring down some of the offerings that they have. Guess where these friends are turning to? Amazon. They need to buy their crafting supplies. Where do they buy them? Amazon. So a crafter's dream bundle is basically putting bundles together for crafters to purchase. So you don't have to be a crafter to sell to crafters, but they're a huge market where they're buying consistent supplies to create new items and this is one of this had been one of the most popular uh, bundle ideas revealed um, series that I did so the series of bundle ideas all is it's like a year round a year's worth of bundles four separate hours of bundle ideas revealed mommyincome.com slash bundle ideas, because I don't want ideas to be stopping you from creating products to make you more money. A lot of people have been doing retail arbitrage and we've got an upcoming episode talking about different ways to supplement with retail arbitrage in uh, hard times or difficult times. And this is some strange times that we're facing now, but um, the ideas is what often stops people from trying bundles. They really just don't know where to start or what to do. This takes that guessing game out of the equation. There's hundreds of bundles and I get really sad when I do a lot of these bundle idea classes, mini classes, and people don't actually use some of these and start creating. They get into the black hole of like, oh, well, someone else is going to do that one. Someone else. Listen, you're the someone else. You're the one who's going to be creating these bundles. So if you want a year round bundle ideas, go to mommyincome.com slash bundle ideas and get your four mini courses for one hour bundle idea courses on the different subject. And listen, the price right now is $57 for this particular bundle. I know, yeah, I'm bundling a bundle ideas. Um, Normally the price is $97 for these four courses, but for you this week, only $57 mommyincome.com slash bundle ideas. And remember friends, there is, there is so, there are so many 
bundle ideas out there that we cannot possibly create them all. So don't worry that this friend or that friend is going to take you up on that because guess what? I have sat with the same people on the same catalog page with four different people and we've all chosen different bundles, even at the same time with the same uh, catalog page because we all see things from a different perspective. So when you're looking at different ideas, one idea might spark something else that you have. So don't worry about people like, oh my gosh, these are all the same ideas and so many hundreds of people are going to steal them. No, these are just ideas that can hope that can spark brainstorming for other ideas. So thinking about this, bundles bring speed, convenience, and variety to your customers. You're saving them time by adding everything all in one package already. You're saving them money because they're not shopping around here and there. Well, might not by saving them money. You actually are going to charge more for your bundle. Why? It's like that convenience uh, premium fee. People are willing to pay a little extra if it saves them time. So I want you to get your bundle ideas and get started. It's not too late to start making bundles for Q4 right now. You can be capitalizing on this by mid-month next month if you work hard and you look for um, these ideas and start to bring them uh, to the table. So I hope that you guys are going to capitalize on this, get some new bundle ideas for yourselves, and um, even starting, say maybe you're done for Q4 already and you want ideas for um, next year already. Well, those are covered as well as long as, uh, along with evergreen bundles. So please make sure you check that out. Don't forget about your customer and thinking about them every time. I don't care if you're doing retail arbitrage. Um, when you're out there, think about the customer. Think about the variety you can bring to the table, even with retail arbitrage items. So, or, or wholesaling, maybe you don't find it on Amazon. Great, that's opportunity for you. Bring product selection to Amazon and customers will thank you with dollars, specifically with bundles, because then you can even um, bundle those items to make even more profit. So thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you guys same time, same place next week on the Amazon Files.